an ingredient commonly found in certain beauty products is creating a new, a new development in a story we brought you last yeah. night concerning well, here's the source of the problem. The state Common products you probably have in your own bathroom, toothpaste and facial cleansers that contain plastic microbeads. Americans buy 500... In 2012, five gyres went to the Great Lakes to research plastic pollution. Here's an example of what they found. That these tiny particles are actually plastic because they're just so small. But this is all microbeads. You know, we, we found these little polyethylene and polypropylene, perfect little round spheres, and we could match them the same size, color, texture, even the composition to some of the microbeads found in facial scrubs. Well, those products use plastic as the exfoliant. We match those microbeads and products to the microbeads in the lakes. They are so small that when they are washed down through the drains, which is inevitably what happens to them, they're not caught in the screens and the various other uh, techniques and strategies that we have to capture garbage before it goes out into the ocean. We're now finding that plastics in the oceans can concentrate toxins, things like PCBs, DDT, chemicals that wash into our oceans will stick to plastic like a sponge. Now, they don't biodegrade. Uh, and they just stay there. We also know that plastics are ingested by animals, fish, planktonic organisms, and these chemicals go directly from the plastic into the tissues of the animals and eventually wind up in our bodies. So these plastic microbeads are potentially a huge threat to our own health. In some of these products, a, a, a typical tube contains about 350,000 of these little plastic particles. So that's how small they are, but also how prevalent they are. The problem is that no matter where it's used, if you're in Kansas, if you're in Tennessee, if you're in Santa Monica, when you wash your face or brush your teeth or take a shower with these plastic exfoliants, they wash right down the drain and into our rivers, our streams, our lakes, and into the ocean. The reason I'm so passionate about this issue is that in 2009, I did a body burden test. In my own blood serum, we found trace levels of four contaminants that have been shown to stick to plastic. PCBs, DDT, PFCs, and flame retardants. We've done a lot of damage over the years. That damage is visible almost wherever you go. But we're in a place now where we can look back, where we have the ability, the technology, and the political will to make changes. So what I want women and mothers around the world to understand is that plastic can poison the next generation. The chemicals in my body, I have passed on to my baby girl through childbirth. And that's just not a risk that we find acceptable. After discussions with Five Gyres and learning more about this issue, I decided that this is indeed something that needs to be addressed. So we introduced a law that would ban the microbead product. Our legislation has now been introduced in four states. New York became the first state, followed by California, Illinois, and Minnesota. We would love to see a national bill so that we eliminate microbeads completely if you look on the back on the list of ingredients, you can see listed very clearly polyethylene or polypropylene. And that means that these products that you're washing your face with or brushing your teeth with are polluting our waters. And we want to see citizens take action by refusing to use these products and by further encouraging their policymakers to do the right thing. This is a bipartisan issue. Whatever political beliefs one might have, this is an issue where you can make a difference as an individual by being in touch with your leaders. So now that you know the situation, here's what you can do. Go to fivegyres.org to sign the national petition to ban plastic microbeads. Let's say no and beat the bead.